all you just seen is the kind you get after I feed animals before I get a shower. you have take two just when you think you have all your uh, grocery items put up and your stockpile put up I came across a uh, container all these bags were still tied up I must have forgot to show you and I see a couple of items in here yeah I've already duplicated because didn't know those were in it. I didn't. I bought some Velveeta cheese. Not used Velveeta cheese in a long time. Got to get with the program now. 32 ounces, 2 pounds. I want to do a recipe with it. Remember, these are pantry stock items. You're not going to see me quite yet because it's still early morning, but I want to get this pantry haul done. Vegetable recipe mix. I seen that and it just looked good. It says combine four cups of water and nor vegetable recipe mix and medium sauce pan. Bring to a boil, reduce heat and simmer to about 10 minutes. And it tells you how to make a north spinach dip, a hot spinach and artichoke dip by Nors. And I know Nord's is a very good product. I use them quite a bit. Must have got Catalina dressing for a reason because it's not something I use on a salad. So I will have to see exactly why I got that one. I told you my memory's not good. Catalina dressing. 16 ounces, but it does look good, doesn't it? Two cans of sweet condensed, sweet and condensed milk. I used quite a bit during the holidays, so I'm pretty sure that's why I went ahead and bought two more cans because I've got another recipe that needs them. It's not something I use all the time. Great value, 14 ounces. And it says it has a recipe up under the label, so I'm gonna have to check that out. Hi, sweetie. Two cans of evaporated milk, 12 ounces, great value, again, to put in the pantry. Let me see here, two Betty Crocker Super Moist Spice Cake Mixes. Definitely have a plan for one of these. And they were 15.25 ounces, and I bought two. Like I said, I've had these in my pantry. And uh, I was wondering where my Miracle Whip went. Because I had a recipe I was going to use Miracle Whip. I know I had some here. But it was put up. <laughs> Whip dressing. So now I can try to find the recipe that goes to that. Can you kind of tell I remember? But I don't remember. Uh, bread flour. I have one bag. I decided I'd get one more bag. You see what it says? Ideal for yeast breads. White lily. Five pounds. Unbleached bread flour. I have a plan for that. Wondered where my yeast packages went. Michelle and I were talking. We plan on trying our hand at some yeast bread. I bought some of this active dry yeast. I'm thinking this yeast might take longer. Dissolve yeast in warm water at 100 degrees for 10 minutes. And there's three in this particular pack. And then I bought some of the fast rising instant yeast. And I bought three that are three packs. 
it says no need to dissolve before you use it directly. I've added directly to dry ingredients. Let me see. If added directly to dry ingredients, not dissolved in liquids, you warm it to 120 to 130. So that's why this is fast. You don't need to wait the 10 minutes. So we're gonna have fun doing both of those. Crisco. The other day, uh, I laid out my Crisco regular Crisco, but I thought I'd try some better flavored Crisco for some fun too. This is what we used a lot growing up was Crisco. And this one's better flavored. 50% less saturated fat than butter. Great for bacon and frying. And that's why I got it. 48 ounces. Crisco. Love anything cranberry orange. Great value. Still had some of these. I'm thinking they might have been on a markdown shelf for some reason. I'm not sure. For some reason, I'm thinking that. Cranberry, orange, muffin, and quick bread mix. I bought several of these in the past, and they're good. I always kind of doctor them up to, to taste the way I want them to taste. Margaret Holmes. Mixed greens. Now I know why January 1st I didn't have my mixed greens. <laughs> Seriously. I had greens, but I knew I had some mixed greens somewhere. And they're seasoned. Anything Margaret Holmes is good. Got the boys a couple of containers of grape drink mix that you can make quarts with. You just add water. Um six in a pack and each pack makes two quarts of grape drink and I bought two of them. I bought two packs of the McCormick Original Chili. No artificial spices. 1.25 ounces a piece. And you know this is a good time for uh, chili. One container of cornstarch, 16 ounces, great for thickening sauces and gravies. Like I said, I know I hauled these and then have them on the shelf in the pantry. Now I just have a double batch. Better get busy baking. Great value baking powder, double acting, 8.1 ounces. I'm sure all these items are items that I got when I went into Walmart. These are not items I would have picked up on um, my pickup orders because they are pantry fill-in items. I was looking for these two. Good thing I decided to go through that container. Jet Puffed Mini Marshmallows. 10 ounces. And I have two bags. And like I said, good thing I went through it because I have a recipe that I'm wanting to do next week that needs many marshmallows. I was actually going to cut some big marshmallows up until I seen my big marshmallows disappeared. And now these have reappeared. So I'll, I'll be able to use those. And they were 10 ounces a piece. And for the pantry, so I already have some, but I bought one more, 32 ounces of dark brown sugar from Domino's. So I guess when I did this haul, because I know it's over a month ago, it was in a container of stuff that uh, I would put to use to replenish my shelves with. And uh, didn't realize I hadn't even showed it yet. Thought it would be worth showing. Just for the fact that if you're like me and you want to get into some bacon, there's some bacon products. Yeah, bacon products. <laughs> Must have been a bacon product trying to... Yeah. But anyway, 
one thing. And I probably wouldn't have went through these except we're fixing to do a little road trip and I was looking for one thing in particular and it wasn't from Walmart, it was actually from Amazon. Better than bouillon, seasoned, made with seasoned ham. Eight ounces, I have the beef, I have the chicken, and now I have the ham based, better than bouillon. But I bought a case of four, one's a gift. So before I put these up, I thought, well, I better show you my one stock up I bought at Amazon. Good to February 16th of 2023. So I'm gonna put it back in the box. And that, my friends, is a short pantry stock at pile. I have some stuff on my table I'm still putting up. Now I've got more. It's a good thing I haven't been going to the store, but you're gonna laugh at me. You know how when you want something, you want something. Well, Kenny had me going into Woggles. It's a convenience store that we have here in East Tennessee. I'm not sure how many others have it. Craving a salad. Was not gonna go into Walmart. As you see, I'm more than stocked up between all my other hauls and this. I've really been trying to avoid Walmart. So we went into, I, I went into Woggles and found this ham, turkey, bacon, and cheese uh, salad. It, it had dressing with it. You got the fork with it. It says it was one serving size, but I bought that at the Woggles. There's no, hardly anything left in it. One salad like this will last me two or three meals, depending on what I'm eating with it. And my husband needed some more bananas. Still not going to Walmart. I bought two bananas. I think they were $1.69, but I probably saved $100 not walking into the Walmart. But I just thought I'd show you, even at convenience stores, you can get salads and fruit a lot of times, especially at the Woggles. And the haul you just seen is the kind you get <laughs> after I feed animals and before I get a shower took. Not that I look a whole lot, but at least I'm clean. And we're on the road. But I hope you do try out convenience stores as such because they do have a lot of times things that you can use, especially if you don't have anything close by. But until next time.